Let's get going. <laughs> Welcome everybody. We've got we've got a nice crowd today, Brett. We got a good topic. Oh yeah, we do. We switched the topic from online leads. By the way, we could do online leads, right? But yeah. here was the thinking. When we look at the stats from NAR and we look at where the market is shifting to, we thought, well, I think it's a better idea to jump into talking about your past clients. That's the core of your yeah. database. If you don't have any, pay attention anyway, because you're going to learn how Brett does it, how I do it, because you can apply that to your sphere. You can apply that to your database. And so with that, Brett, feel free to bring in any other piece of tech that you think that sure. you use in between with Chime or, or just that mixes really well with Chime. Sure. And I'm going to start off by, by talking about just the psychology behind a lot of real estate agents and a lot of companies in general, just focusing on primarily getting that lead. Like yeah. think of Zillow, think of Redfin, Realtor.com, all of these big companies. They're trying to get this lead to transact, seller, buyer. But once it happens, there's no plan for it. There never, there just never is. This is why I love using Chime for that piece as well. And I'm going to show you something. This is the funnel that I was talking about, Brett. The bow tie? <laughs> the bow tie. The bow tie funnel. Oh, here we go. Ooh. So if you take a look at it, there's, there's really two parts to to thinking of, of a client or of a lead. And that's the beginning portion. This right here, right in the middle is where it, where it ends. Typically, we attract them, we convert them, we nurture them, we close them, right? That's it right there. But what you and I do really well is that after the fact, we retain them for a very long time, right? Yeah. And, and some people, look, some people we don't retain because we just Sometimes we, we bash heads with them. We just don't get along with them. That's okay. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about those people that fit into our culture, fit into our world, that as we show up more and we love them and we pour that love into them through this, they pour that right back to us, right? That's, that's the key to this. This is why I love this funnel, dude. And, yeah. and it, was, it was so apparent to me over the years when we were digging into more Zillow stats to show where the money was going for them. It almost zero money, actually zero money was going to the part after, right? And, and that's just a big opportunity for us. So we're going to be sharing with you some things here. The very first thing I want to talk to you about when it comes to any CRM, but since you're on Chime, this applies to any CRM, even an Excel sheet, is I would love for all of you to start thinking of categorizing your past clients. This way, you know how to treat them because there, there will always be those past clients that give you more referrals than others. It just is. And Brett and I have been in business for a very long time. And we've seen that. Some people love you, but they will never. Brett, I just got a call from my past, my, my it's not even a past client. It's just a friend, a sphere, really close friend. And this is like for the third time in a row they use a different real estate agent, right? Yep. And, then the, and then they text me <laughs> yesterday. I'm going back and forth because I'm a nice guy. I'm going back and forth. They're asking all these questions and I'm like, you've got a real estate agent. No, I, I love you. you. Right, why, why are you asking me? <laughs> and what's happening with the market? I'm watching your videos and I'm like, there will always be people that will not use you. And that's okay. This is why I want you to categorize everyone, right? And the categorization, um, Brett, you have a category and I have a category. Let's go through both. I'm going to go through yep. mine. Here's, sure. here's how I do it. And there's no right way. We do A, B, C, and D. And that's the tag that we use only so we don't overcomplicate it. A is people that have referred somebody to you in the past. Pretty easy. And if you're brand new, there will be no A's. And then you go into B's. These are people that would refer you because you've asked. Like Brett, and uh, we've been working together for a long time. And I've asked him, he's asked me, of course, we'd refer back each other to each other. Yeah. 
And I just had to find people that are moving to Alaska and then I'll send it to you, dude. Don't worry. Uh, and, and C is just assumed. Like you get together, you talk often, you just, you don't, you, you haven't asked, but you know they'd send you somebody. And D, they would never send you anybody. Instantly in my head, I already have three people that would never send me a single thing, right? And that's okay. I have that too. <laughs> right? You know these people. Mm-hmm. so a b c or d and here's the here's the reason that that's important when you pop open chime and you now use that and say here are all my a's click now you can call them text them you can engage with them a lot better in fact you can even create smart plans that in, that includes text out to them special emails to them different things that goes out that go out to them And that right there is the key, because as we go deeper into this, I'm going to go through how you can then love on these people, because those people that succeed in this changing market, and it won't change the same all throughout the United States, it's different, but it's getting a little tougher now. Brett, you know what was interesting? This is cool for you and me, and for those who have been in this for a little bit. I'm sitting there with my team two days ago in person, and then one of them who's newer, a year in the business, and he's done amazing. He says, hey, I don't know, the the house has been on the market for a week. I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell the seller. Like it hasn't sold. And I'm like, this is a real conversation. (laughs) I'm scared to call the seller. He practically said, what do I say? Yep. A lot of people haven't seen this market. So um, I thought that was interesting. I did, I had forgotten that that's a skill that you need, you know, talking yeah. to the seller continually I, for three to six months. Yeah. So See, we, um, I do things, I do things slightly different than you do. So you categorize everybody, you know, A, B, C, D. I don't. Um, so if anybody has done a deal with me in the past, they become part of my past client database. And then for those that refer to me, I have what I call my, my insiders. So they're on the, they're on the inside. Um, what I do with that is I, I basically have my entire past clients that I will actually go through and make sure that they get all fun stuff from me. They get invited to client events. They get contacts from me. I actually build smart plans out through Chime uh, that stay in touch with them. And I base my smart plan follow-up on community right? What's going on in the community? What's new in the area? Because a lot of the people in the markets that I've worked, they're moving there from somewhere else. And even if they haven't, people like knowing what's going on in their town, even if you've lived there a long time. So I base it largely on community to try to get people out and go do stuff in their own community. That that does a few things. It builds our community. It makes our community better. And it gets people out seeing things they didn't know existed. So that's number one. And then for our insiders, I start having fun. And so anytime someone gets on the inside track and they've sent us several referrals, I tend to go a little bit overboard on how I respond to people that send me referrals. So I'll give you an example. We had, I had one client back in the day that uh, (laughs) he sent, he and his wife sent me 17 referrals over the course of like a year. Yeah. So I kind of went overkill. And I sent them both. I went, have you ever heard of edible arrangements? They have like the fruit that's all pretty and stuff. Okay. So I took that and I sent both of them an edible arrangement at work. And I went and I had them get like the biggest, like, I mean, these things, Tristan, like they barely fit in a car. Like they were, they were massive. Okay. And so I had them delivered with like balloons and stuff sticking out of them, both delivered to their office during work hours. And this worked twofold. One, it was a, Thanks guys. Seriously, you guys go above and beyond for me. It's my turn to go above and beyond for you. Um, And of course, everybody in their office was like, who are those from? (laughs) So we try to go overkill. We take our insiders to go do fun things. We take them to concerts. We take them to private events. Um, When the last Game of Thrones episode got streamed way back when, we rented out a movie theater and we took all of our insiders to go there. And we paid for it, got them popcorn and all the, all the good stuff. So we take it and we, we take, we'd make it very personal. And so we tag them in Chime. If they, if you get refer, if we have referrals come in from you, um, we will take that 
and we will actually, uh, you become an insider at that point. And then we start doing fun stuff and we put it all on social media. <laughs> Dude, I love that. That is really, so it's really just a good. little different, right? No, actually it's, it's very similar. Here's because this is the other part. Once we find our insiders, same, same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Once we find our insiders, what we do is we then circulate through three things. And I, I created an acronym for it just so that I could remember it. And it's HOP, H-O-P. Easy to remember everybody, HOP. Yeah. And it's the exact same thing Brett said, but in order for me and my team to remember it, I just said, okay, our brand awareness, this, this whole plan that we have, it has to meet this past client or or let's say our core sphere as well it has to our brand has to meet them at home it has to meet them online and it has to meet them in person and so what we did is we're like okay what does our brand meeting them at their home look like and you have different options and everyone's at different levels so don't think that you have to do all of these right brett Brett, when he started, he only did maybe one or two and then gradually grew to everything, just like I did. So when your brand is meeting them at their house, it's not, it's not you meeting them. It's either a handwritten note that you, that you either write out. And at the beginning, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want you to go out and get a company like handwritten to write it out, right? I would yeah. want you to write it out. There's plenty Absolutely. of time. Yeah. Then there's also, what do you deliver as far as postcards? You can, you can run them through Chime now, right? What's the option there? Do you want to deliver something consistently? And then what about gifting? Like when Brett was talking about the edible arrangements, I'm thinking, dude, that would, that would leave me with an amazing feeling inside, mm -hmm. right? Like I'd freak out a little bit <laughs> and that, that, that would that. definitely, <laughs> that would definitely be an Instagram moment, right? Yeah. Or a TikTok moment. Yep. And, and those things are important because I think along the same lines and I'm thinking, how can we leave a lasting impression and make mm -hmm. people feel like you actually care? And, yeah. and it's easy. You gift them things. And if it's, mm -hmm. if it's like what Brett is doing through companies like, like edible, edible arrangements, great. We use a company called Client Giant. It automates yeah. the gifts, right? And there's there's different categories to the gifts. So, I mean, there's the $10 per person per month gift, right? It's it's a gift that's quarterly, but you pay monthly because they're pretty decent gifts. Or you can go to the high, high end, which is like $2.99 a month, right? Mm -hmm. So you find wherever, <laughs> Brett, Olaf says you have a good ad. I told you, dude. <laughs> yes. The best hat, right, Ola? Dude, the best hat. I love that hat. Do, do you know why this hat exists? <laughs> Ola. Hey, Let, there's a story for this, but here Ola, quickly. Ola. Tell me, tell us the story. Because that's a good the story. quick story on it is that is what I say all the time. And that is my saying is, but did you die? Um, all of us in the aviation world have seen me kind of do some weird crap with airplanes and everybody looks at me later on and they're like, man, how was I'm like, didn't die. And so Olaf. that becomes a, there Olaf. you go. So we're about to start a webinar like a year ago, a year and a half ago <laughs> for Chime. And I get this text from Brett with his plane flipped upside down. And he goes, I can't make it today. <laughs> That's where it started. It started that day. I'm like, oh, and dude. so Aurora, my my wife, comes over and she goes, "Hey, it's your famous saying, but did you die?" Oh my gosh! Oh, love. There's so, a lot to there. It you go. Right there. All right. Good. Um, good, good so now. I'll tell you. I'll tell you how I handle my initial. This is what I would do with like my past clients immediately. First of all, they go into a a pipeline in Chime. Okay, and so they're going to become my past clients. They go through that. They, they get a specialized smart plan that I've built out for them, educational, um, more community-based. And then what I try to do on top of all of that is I try to, whenever I put anything out to them, um, I try to send a personalized video to them frequently. And what I'm putting out is I'm coming across as a real estate advisor. I'm letting them know they bought a house or they sold a house. I'm, I want to be like their financial advisor 
but it's for their house. <laughs> I am their real estate advisor. And so I try to come at it like now with the changing market that I'm honing in on that. I am letting them know what is going on because we don't have a national market. We have a local market. And so I, I, I focus primarily on what is actually happening in our market. So I do that. But as soon as they close the transaction with me, I want them to feel like they're part of my family. And you guys know my last name is Baker, right? So you've probably imagined over the years, I have had some jokes about my last name. You know, Where's the hat? Where's the hat? Yeah. <laughs> haven't, haven't had that ever in my life. And so I decided to embrace it. And so what I do is whenever we close a transaction, the first thing uh, that that person gets from us, let's say they're a buyer. At their new address, a couple of days after closing, they did a package from me in the mail. And in that package is a uh, bake at home cookie kit. And so all you have to do is provide a couple of eggs, provide a little bit of oil and provide some water and you have cookies. And with that, I send a cute little letter and I've been looking for it to show you guys what my cute little letter looks like. But it basically is like a, hey, you know, I love the feeling of home. And uh, the feeling of home generally for me growing up was the smell of cookies. And I tell this cute little story. Um, I just found it right here. So let me, uh, let me share real fast with you guys uh, this one. So basically like a, hey, you did it. Congratulations on the purchase of your home. I wanted to thank you again for trusting us. Um, we're thrilled to have been able to help you along. Da, 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 da. Uh, we've helped you buy a house. Now it's up to you to make it a home. The way you turn a house uh, into a home is up to you as we're all different. Uh, for me, when I was a kid, I loved going to my grandparents' house because it always smelled like home. Later, when I moved away, blah, 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 it turns out that it was actually my, my grandmother's top secret cookie recipe. And so I tell this cute little story. And then what I, I basically say is like, I'd love to come by and make you a batch of great grandmother baker's top secret chocolate chip cookies, uh, but I can't, and I can't give you the recipe because it's a secret, um, but I'll, I'll make you a deal. Uh, here's the chocolate chip cookie kit. Uh, that I've included. And then I have that and I include a cute little like uh, recipe card for them. So I took the, the cookie kit and I made my own little recipe card out of it. That's and cool. uh, it, it's just, it's a way that I want them to remember. I want them to remember me initially with like a, Hey, we did this fun thing. And now you're going to get this from me. Oh, and by the way, if you ever need anything along the way, need a lawnmower, need a pressure washer, I have all of that. You can reach out to me and just borrow at any time because family lets family borrow stuff. Oh, it's so, so good, man. That's, that's what I do. You set, you just set that tone. I love that. See, that's part of the communication right there that I'm talking about. See, this is, we do the exact same thing. It's so crazy. Yeah. So it's just different markets. Yeah. It, it's in, and it just the name, there's just, just a, a name difference. That's it. But it's the exact yeah. same stuff yeah. in the middle. I, yeah. I mean, we're both eating Twinkies. They're just called different yes. names. Exactly. <laughs> I like it. I, I, think, I, I think what people should take away out of this is we're moving into a, uh, a new phase of real estate. It's not a new phase. We're bringing back an old phase that a lot of agents haven't seen. And now more than ever, uh, companies are trying to come in and they're trying to break into your database. They're trying to take the people that you've had in your database that you've worked with and they're, they're trying to come in there. Build a moat around your database love on your past clients, stay in front of them and provide them with a ton, a ton, a ton of great information about your area, about you, about how you are a real estate advisor and you're here to help them navigate this waterway that they're on right now. Um, I think if more agents took the time to do that, I, I think they, if more agents take the time to do that, they will survive what is coming our way because they'll be loving on past clients. They'll, dude, they'll thrive. It'll be the best. Oh, yeah. It'll be their best market ever. And they'll make a yeah. career out of this. That's the thing. Great. That's it. So yeah. as my dog barks in the background. Oh, um, that was yours. <laughs> that was my dog. It probably set off a whole bunch of other dogs right now. So I want to continue on the hop process here yeah. because at home, your brand has to meet them either through a written letter or some type of a postcard or some type of a gift through whatever you decide, right? Next is online. It's exactly what Brett's talking about. Online just refers to anything we can really do with this, right? Or, or Chime. What are the texts you're sending out? What's a newsletter, right? What are they seeing online that has to do with you? What about social media? Are you connecting with them there, right? Are you retargeting them using Chime, right? There's 
there's no excuse. 70% of Americans are still on Facebook, right? That means that, means that 70% of your database is on Facebook. So you should be retargeting them because it's like super cheap, like $100 for a thousand people you're retargeting. That's crazy. I actually have a great, I have a great talk that we've got to do on that one of these days. Oh, oh, dude, why don't we do that in the next 30 days? That's yeah. beautiful. Because I'm I actually going to be launching a whole training on retargeting here very shortly. Why don't we then wait till you launch it? What we'll yep. do is we'll go through like the gist of it. So people get the meat part yep. and then you're like, here I am. Hit me up. Yep. All right. 100%. Let's do that. I like that. Now online here, I'll, I'll show you something really quick. And Brett and, I have shared, Brett and I have shared this before. Every time I show, I show you, Brett then has his own awesome one. So this is our past client drip for a year. And what we do is we outline it like this. So you can kind of get the gist and then we go deeper into it. So you get all the details, right? Yep. And, and then you go, go, go. This is all automated, right? And we know that Chime, if you go to Chime, I'm going to go to Chime Marketplace really quick. If you scroll down to Chime Marketplace, you can see right here. Mm -hmm. They work with Bomb Bomb and Sly Broadcast. And that's key to this because I'm dropping videos and I'm dropping voicemails, right? So let me just share this one with you guys right now so you guys can grab it, copy the link. So that's what I'm talking about when people are seeing you online, right? Because your yep. phone is part of the online process. Here, here's the drip. And then lastly, once you figured out the in-home online, the last one is in-person. Like this is a relationship business. This is a belly-to-belly, -belly, like my old mentor used to say, belly-to-belly -belly business, right? Yep. So lunch, yep. dinner, events, coffee, whatever. And that's changed a lot too. You know, I, I hate to say that I'm thankful for one thing COVID did, um, but it changed the way we meet people in person, right? And so one-on-one -on -one video like this, I mean, Tristan and I are 2,000 miles away right now, but yeah. when we catch up before these, it's like we're right next to each other. And, and so the one, the one good thing that COVID did was it changed the way that we all meet, right? A whole bunch of you are on this call right now and you get to hang out with Tristan and I. This is something that I wish we could do in person. Maybe one day, maybe one day we should try one of these in person. Dude, um, a Chime Mastermind in Phoenix. Oh, that'd be so much live, fun. I'm in. Live, right? I am so in. Oh, this would be but great. until then, right? We've changed the way that COVID okay. changed the way we meet people. And, and so because of that, even if you have to just hop on a FaceTime call with one of your past clients and just catch up, let them show you around their house or whatever, yeah. you can do that. So in person, I love the in person. Um, don't don't be afraid too much of uh, of FaceTime. Dude, Brett and I became really good friends through through Zoom through COVID. Yep. So <laughs> probably because we were the only to... people we were talking to. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm like, Brett, how you doing? Yeah, nice to see you again. Today. Tristan, I need somebody to talk to. That's so funny, dude. I don't think, and I thought back, I'm like, did we ever, we we haven't met. No, in not in person, person, right? Mm -hmm. And I felt like I did until you mentioned that. So yeah, there you yeah. Go. I, I had to think about it the other day too. <laughs> That's nuts. All right. So people do want, look, it, it Chime, Chime's listening in. So Stuart wants in, Natalia yep. wants in. We would want to do a Chime Mastermind where we're focusing all around what Chime can do for you and, and really how to use it to grow your business. That's that's really what we want to do. I might have to put something together. Yeah. See, a master, Nancy, thank you, Nancy. Yeah. Appreciate that. Should we, would dive should we wait everything. until airfare comes down quite a bit? Yeah, I think um, fall-ish, winter, yeah. right? I think, when, what do you think, mm -hmm. winter? We'll see. Uh, I think like, yeah, I think winter, get me out of here for, you know, a couple of months, for a couple of weeks. That'd be nice. <laughs> so funny. I, I forgot. Mean, it, it, Your winters Mallory, are yeah. hard. Your winters are hard. <laughs> uh, yeah. They yeah. will do for no. winter. So, so last night, fun fact, last night, our sun did not set last night. So we had 24 hours of daylight. Yeah. How do you, how do you, just you just for that, laughs. We, went, we, got, we were standing out at uh, about 1 a.m. this morning. And it, it, Tristan, it looked like 5 p.m. in Malibu. It was, yeah, it's pretty wild. 
So, so the sun looks like it's about to set and then it doesn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It goes, so it goes around. It doesn't, it doesn't go up and over. It goes around. Oh, you. no way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's how far it, north does it are. go? Does it go at like a, at a curve like this? Mm -hmm. Just slightly. Yeah, it just kind of curves up and then it kind of follows oh, you down and then it dumps. Damn. But it never, it never truly goes down. All right. Yeah. Damn. So I, I, it was, I it was Aurora's first time seeing that. <laughs> That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Stuart. Yeah. Uh, Stuart says, possible Chime user conference in February. I love that. Joe Winter yeah. is good. And Nancy, what do you have? Nancy, planning a trip to Alaska for yeah. next year. Brett, I may reach out to you. Reach out to me. And uh, if, you're, if, you're, if you don't get air sick, reach out to me. I'll take you for a flight. And everyone gets a free hat. And <laughs> Hey Tristan, I'll send you. I'll I'll send you one of these if you send me one of those. Dude, I totally will. Hold on. Um, Monch is on. Monch is listening in, so he'll remind me. Yeah. Hat, yeah. Hat. Have him reach out to me and uh, and let's 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 exchange hats. Hat for Brett. I got you, buddy. Yep. I got you. All right, man. That was see. That was fun. See? I like that. I think we got, I think, I think we put out as much information as we really could in 30 minutes. I think we should really kind of, as we move forward here, I think we should focus a lot of these on how to use Chime for past clients, because there's so many tools that we have at our disposal. And, and I, I think that a lot of people just see it as lead generation and lead follow-up. But if we couldn't actually showcase here over a couple of these, how to actually use Chime for past clients, yeah. I, I think there's a lot to that. Like show here, I, we've got a minute, but it's not going to show what, what Brett wants. Um, Brett, while I'm doing this and showing on time, can you put in the best number to reach you at right there? Whatever yeah, sure. number that is. I'm going to show you what's on Chime right now so that you understand. Let me get to that screen first. Yeah, no worries. Um, going to cancel the great question, by the way. All right, here we go. Here's what I'm going to go to the main screen and Chime. And you see where it says um, smart plan emails, add more smart plans to your leads. When you go there, it takes you here. You can add more smart plans, but there's a shortcut, right? Add yep. smart plans or adjust. And this yep. is my favorite section right here. Because remember that funnel I was showing where it's, it, it showed the bow tie funnel? Here's yep. the after closing. And if, if you highlight these areas, if you highlight these areas on the right, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. It shows you what is already built in, right? And so after closing, there it is. Now we go over to the right and now we have right here, buyer after closing, yeah. buyer lead closing anniversary. And then if you click on them, what happens is you can expand and change on them. That's just one, right? And I can add other ones here and you can modify them, add things to them. Once you import them, then you can modify them and do them whatever you want or create your own one. So that's what we'll get into, Brett. Really, really good. Yes, I agree with you. Let's do that. I and I think there's so there's a few people in there that are asking like how do I how do I how do I do more with optimizing my chime and stuff like that. I haven't announced this yet, but I'm going to now. I will be launching another group. We have a group coaching that is finishing up here over the next uh, couple of weeks. I will be launching another group coaching, and so we do cover stuff like this. So Perfect. I will put in the chat how to get in on that. I haven't released that yet, but when we do. Um, but I think Tristan going forward, I think we should really cover you and I should do more of these on how we follow up with past clients. Um, I think that would be a really, I think that'd be a really good one. I agree with you on that, dude. Good job, yeah. man. Thank you. I, I hey, love doing you. these with you, buddy. Me too. It was good seeing you again. It was, it was nice. <laughs> I love, I love telling the story of <laughs> we're about to go live and you're like, this is my current situation. <laughs> yeah, oh, your, so your face on that day oh god that I was, was like, great i was like dude no way yeah all right everybody yeah, anyways thanks for joining us brett good seeing you rock, buddy. thanks thanks everybody take care, bud. see ya